Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com and in this tutorial we're going to look at saving the contents, the, uh, the contents of this edit text window to a file. So um, there are various ways you can save data in Android. Um, you can save data to the internal storage of the phone. You can save data to external storage like an SD card um, if it's present. You can save um, preferences via a preference system and that allows you to save small amounts of data. And you can also save stuff in a database. And in this particular tutorial, we're just going to look at writing to internal storage. So um, the first thing I need to do here is I need to actually get this edit text control and get the text from it when this save button is clicked. So to do that, I'm going to go to my activity main here. And uh, so here's my edit text control. And one thing I want to do actually is uh, because I plan to write to internal storage, I don't want to write a lot of data there. So I'm going to just limit the max length of this um, text control to um, a relatively small number of characters. Let's say maybe, um, I don't know, really 400 characters. So better to have some max length on it than none at all if we're going to save to internal storage. And uh, the second thing I need to do, more importantly really, is I need to give this edit text an ID, just like the button here, so that we can re refer to it later. So I type ID and use the autocomplete. And here I want to say um, at sign plus ID. So we always need this at sign and the plus to say that it's a new ID that I'm defining and the ID to say that it's going to be an ID. And let's just call this text. Now back in my main activity here, um, when, I, when the save button's clicked, I can get the text from the edit control. So I'm going to use, this, I'm going to use the same uh, mechanism that I use to get a handle on the button. I'm going to use find view by ID because uh, the edit text is just another kind of view. And I'll say r.id dot and the ID that I specified which was text. And of course I need to cast that to a edit text. So I'll say edit text. Um, let's call it edit text equals and I'll cast it I'll cast the return value of find view by ID to an edit text control. So now we can get the text from it. I'll say string text equals edit text dot get um, text. There we go. And uh, let's check that we've actually um, that we've actually got the um, oh yeah I actually need to do this get text method um, actually returns some kind of um, thing that implements an editable interface, and I think I think it's an interface, and you basically just need to do two string on it to get the actual string value. So now we've got that. Let's check that we're actually getting the text from it. So here, um, in my debug uh, message here, I'm just going to out. I'm just going to append that text here so that we can check that it's working. And I'll start the application and let's check everything looks okay here as it does. And I'll switch to DDMS view. And um, so I've got my filtered output here. And let's just go here and when my application launches, I will enter some text and then click the save button. So here we go. And let's click in there and just enter something. Um, here we go. And then let's have a new line in here as well. See what that does. And I'll dismiss the keyboard and click save. And we've got a new um, debug line here. And we're just seeing MMM. And um, I think like actually the, um, I think Oh yeah, there we go, we've got RRR and definitely at least one new line, an MMM, uh, which is what I typed in my emulator. So of course the view down here is not going to be 
um, exactly representative of what you see in the edit control, but that's enough to convince me that it's basically working. So now I'm going to save this text to a file. And to do that, I'm going to use a method called open file output. So this is pretty intuitive. And a lot of dealing with files um, in Android is, uh, is just standard Java, but there's just this little quirk that we need to, to um, get. Um, we need to get the file using this open file output. Well, this is one way of doing it anyway. And let's and let's create a constant for the file name up here. So I'll say public static final string um, file name equals. Or maybe I'll call this um, text file equals, and let's just call it, well, my application I've called note squirrel, so let's call it note squirrel dot text. That should do the trick. And so I'm going to save, um, I'm going to save to this. Um, I've already forgotten what I just called that actually. I just call it text file. Okay, so I'm going to save to text file, and for mode, um, you can specify um, if, I, if I if you type context dot m, um, there is a bunch of different modes here, and I'm going to set this to mode private uh, rather than world readable or anything like that. Um, and that, um, although it's you can't, you probably won't want to trust this for like um, data that absolutely must be secure under all circumstances, but um, the idea is that only your application can read this um, text if you have the private mode um, set here and not even the user can read it via some other means but if someone gets hold of your phone and they know what they're doing I'm sure they could hack into that file but this is good enough for this application and um, now that returns a um, well let's handle the exception actually so I'll just surround with a try catch whoops what did I do um, I didn't mean to do that but yeah, it returns a uh, file output stream, but I'm, I want to surround it with a try catch. There we go. And I'll just catch any exceptions that come from what I'm about to do. So I'll just change that to from file not found exception to exception. And let's call this um, FOS for short. Now to write to this file output stream, we just need to call a method FOS dot write um, dot write. I think this will do the trick. Um, in fact, yeah, I think that's the one. Um, and so, yeah, um, I want to, um, and this has to, um, the argument to this is an array of bytes, but we can get that from the string if I just say text dot um, get bytes like this. So get bytes returns a byte array, so that should do the trick. And um, we mustn't forget to close the file, so I'll say fos.close, like that. And that's all you need to do um, to write to the file. Now I'm going to um, just put some debug output here. So I know, I'm pretty sure now that the save button's working and I'm getting, it, getting the text from the edit control. So I'm going to remove that debug line and I'm going to paste it here and change it a little bit. Um, I'm going to change this to... Um, unable to save file. Um, so if it throws an exception um, then we will see this message. And um, yeah that should be okay. So let's let's try that. And we're not going to see anything really happen in this in this particular tutorial. Um, but um, we're going to move on and read this file that we created very shortly. Um, and also, I mean, this this isn't a good way, obviously, of um, telling the user that that um, the file can't be saved. But we'll fix that subsequently and have a nice error message for the user. Um, but that's all there is to saving uh, files to the internal storage. So let's just run this, and we're just going to check that um, that the application deploys and starts okay, and that there's no um, error message that we don't see this error message. So it says installing, and if we wait just a second, hopefully success. And let's go to DDMS view, and go to my emulator here, and I'll click in here. And now I'm just going to enter some text. So um, in fact, let's enter something meaningful, because we're going to 
display this um, shortly and when we read the file back so I'll say hello hello it's a bit slow well actually it's very slow but um, you just sort of have to live with that really um, it is quite slow so because you're running basically an operating system within an operating system okay so and then I'll say uh, here how how um, space or space you and um, in the next tutorial we will look at reading this file back so I think that'll do the trick um, is this a question mark I'm not sure there we go um, so um, if I hold this down there's the question mark there we go Okay, so that's enough for this tutorial. Oh yeah, I forgot to click save, that's the important bit. Um, so let's just dismiss the keyboard and click save. So the button clicked and we've got no um, nothing bad happening down here. So I assume that's worked and um, we'll now we'll move on to reading that file next time. Okay, so until next time, happy coding.